I think it's super easy in this modern world that we live in to get swept up in how easy it is to consume content and in particular photography and I think because of that it's also very easy to perhaps lose sight of why you as an individual decided to get into photography and the connection that you have with every image that you create. When you have access to hundreds of thousands of images on apps like Instagram, Facebook or VSCO, you can literally spend hours flicking through posts and consuming content. And whilst this can be helpful for things like inspiration and learning new processes to implement to your own photography, it's also taking up time that could be spent on creating new imagery or critiquing your own work or even revisiting old work that brings up memories and, and feelings. A connection that you've previously already begun to establish with your own photography. I found myself recently spending time scrolling through apps like Instagram, searching different hashtags to look at images and find inspiration. And thought to myself, why aren't I looking at some of my own work and using that as material to critique and find inspiration for new photographs? But also, why don't I look at my imagery in a totally new way and in a new format that I'd never really connected with my own work through before? That led me to getting some prints made, some high quality C-type prints on Fuji gloss paper, all a big enough size to really delve into the details of the images and actually spend time studying them. Looking at my own photography in this way opened up a whole new appreciation for looking at my own photographs and really analysing them in depth. Looking at what works and what doesn't, I was drawn to areas of the images that I'd previously neglected to fully study. Colours popped out and grabbed me in different ways. Areas of contrasting light and shadow felt more realistic and more immersive. The photographs, particularly as a set, told a story to me that I'd never pieced together before. And finally, in truth, it brought back memories and feelings that looking at the images on a screen never had. I felt connected to my own work like never before. A physical and tangible version of my own photography that I can touch, observe from different angles and in different lighting scenarios. That I could frame and hang on my walls for others to see and connect with. That physical connection with a moment in time that I'd previously frozen onto 35mm film felt more inspiring and eye-opening than hundreds and hundreds of hours scrolling on my phone ever could. Looking at these prints for the first time it felt like a whole new educational tool for photography. One that I knew very little about, yet could be so valuable to me. If I could give any piece of advice for your photography this year, it's to make prints of your own work and really spend time studying them because you never know what sort of inspiration or motivation you might get from it. Stay safe. Stay happy. See you in the next one.